What was your most horrifying moment in school? Mine happened on the first day of the sixth grade. Back then, probably the most important decision a newly graduated fifth grader has to make during the summertime is what he she will wear the very first day of sixth grade. In my area, sixth grade meant the beginning of middle school. Middle school meant a la carte lunches, dreaded showers after gym, and eighth grade girls. The first day in a new school could seal your fate for the rest of the school year, and what is one of the most important decisions I was going to make? What I was going to wear. After much consideration, I decided on a blue Florida Gatos t-shirt, with matching blue Florida Gatos shorts, tucked in, mind you, you know, the ones with the gator sewn on the left leg trim? My parents bought it for me when we visited Florida in the summer. I thought I was the man. My new Florida Gatos gear, starting a new school, and, get this, an older girl sat next to me on the bus. I think she was in 7th grade. I was riding pretty high, and actually made small talk. It went a little something like this. Me, yeah, I'm excited for the first day. Her, looks at my shorts. What's up with your shorts? Me, what do you mean? We got them on vacation, they are the Florida Gatters. Her, no, I can see. OMG, is that your underwear? Me, what? Her, this next line will haunt me for the rest of my life. Her, OMG, you are wearing boxer shorts or shorts. I was in 6th grade. I didn't know what boxer shorts were. I always wore tighty whiteies. The dead giveaway that I was wearing underwear to school was the pee hole you get in boxers. I never even took notice, or let alone knew about boxers. At that age, all I ever wore were umbro shorts, and these boxer shorts looked pretty similar to me. I spent the rest of the day trying to not have my gleaming white undies show out of the boxer shorts I was wearing thinking they were normal shorts. TLER, I should have gone for the umbros. For a few years growing up I lived in a really small town, and the elementary school, middle school, and high school were all in the same building. When the high school kids had their homecoming spirit week, the entire school participated. Every day of the week student would dress up in some themed outfit, nerd day, twin day, etc. The first day was pajama day. I was 6 years old, in the first grade, and painfully uncool. Like, even for a first grader. Admittedly, I did it to myself. I was the teacher's aide, and a total goodie to shoes. Also, my giant bug eye glasses, tinted blue, which I thought was awesome only added to the list of things for which I was constantly teased. But pajama day was going to change all that. See, I had this super sweet purple 1C complete with footies, that either would really push me over the edge, popularity wise. People would see me in it and think, man, that chick is so cool. Purple 1Cs are obviously the height of fashion. This may be the time to mention that I was a chronic bedwetter as a child. And the thing about being a bedwetter is, you're embarrassed and don't want anyone to know about it, even your parents. So you learn to do your own laundry really early, you hide the soiled sheets clothes until you can inconspicuously wash them yourself. But sometimes this leads to confusion. Woke up that day full of anxious excitement. Suited up in my PJs, got on the bus and rode to school. Exiting the bus. Two girls in front of me make a comment about the stench of cappy, and that's when the panic starts to set in. Had I grabbed from the wrong pile of clothes? Forgotten to wash? Hurriedly I dashed to the bathroom, locked myself in a stall, removed the offending garment and had a sniff. Duck. What have I done? How did I not notice the overwhelming scent sooner? Should I try and wash in the sink? That won't work, no air dryers. Call my mom for a change of clothes? No way. Don't want her to be disappointed in me. Apparently going the whole day in pee clothes was preferable to parental judgment. So I left the bathroom, resolved to suck it up and tough it out. And then I look around at the other students. No one is wearing pajamas. It is clearly not pajama day, or any other day of spirit week, as I got the dates wrong, the entire week. And there I am in my urine soaked purple 1c on a regular roll monday tler i wore a urine soaked purple 1c to school for an entire day not my most horrifying moment when i was aged about 10 in primary school 
A new kid started in the middle of the year. Every morning we had assemblies. I'm not sure if they have them elsewhere in the world, I live in the UK, but basically they take everyone in the school and put them in a big hall for half an hour, which means we're all standing packed pretty close together. The new kid must have been nervous, because about 15 minutes into the assembly, he started to projectile vomit over everyone around him. He vomited over the people in front of him, then tried to run out and vomited over a bunch of people on his way out. He must have hit about 15 or 20 people. The school descended into chaos. Everyone was trampling each other trying to get out of the room. People were running around screaming, covered in vomit. TLDR, Columbine of vomit. In 7th grade my class had become pretty close to our history teacher, so much so that most of the class time was spent joking about current subjects and making fun of Lewis and Clark's dog named C-Man, yeah we were that cool. Well one day, my friend dared me to hide under our teacher's desk while she was gone and scare her when she came back. Thinking it was hilarious, I agreed. So after scaring her and having a good laugh, class ended and all was good for about a week or so. Then came the call to the principal's office. The principal sat me down, asked me about the incident, lectured me on the rules of sexual harassment, and let me know that I would be facing horrible consequences once the school board hears about what I had done. Basically telling me to at least suspect suspension, but also that expulsion was easily on the line. Walking back to class I was devastated, I had never done anything bad before and my parents were going to freak. Once I walked into the class, I looked at my teacher and said, Mrs. Teacher, it was just a joke, I was only kidding, to which she replied, so was I, then winked at the principal and the whole class started laughing. Needless to say, I learned my lesson, and that teacher earned a cool place in my book after that. Crisis averted. Okay. You asked for it. I had a huge bowl cut in middle school. Like the kid from The Shining but not as long. I got my hair cut the day before the first day of school, and it looked pretty good. However, the next morning I woke up late and didn't have time to shower. My cowlick was out of control and was standing straight up. Instead of going to school with a hair boner, I grabbed some hair gel and put quite a bit on to keep it weighted down. It felt crusty but I figure nobody else would notice. The hair gel was very cheap. The kind that starts to break up as it dried out. While on the bus to school, a kid behind me noticed all the white flakes in my hair, and screamed about how much damned rough I had. I was terrified as all the kids gathered around to see. I tried my best to explain, but those kids were brutal. I had been identified already as the kid with bad hygiene. Later in the day an 8th grade loudly exclaimed that I had jizz in my hair. I had no idea what jizz was and tried my best to explain. Thank goodness nobody else was really around. I'd rather be the kid with bad hygiene than the kid with jizz in his hair any day. A few years ago I found out my nickname was Penis Head, due to my bowl cut. I used to think my haircut was awesome. Man, middle school was terrible. In elementary school we were all assigned a country to do a little speech about. I was assigned Thailand. One of the most beautiful places in the country of course is Phuket Island. And with a handful of pictures from the island I cut out from a book, I spent at least 90% of this presentation talking about Phuket. Yet, I was traumatized when a minute into my speech my classmates started laughing. And they laughed. And they laughed. And my teacher was red in the face with embarrassment, and so I just kept trucking through. It wasn't until just about the end, that I realized that I had been pronouncing Phuket as, duck it the entire time as I was reading my cards. This is the island of, Ducket. Ducket has many beautiful beaches. I would love to go to Ducket. I booked it from that room in trauma. T-L-E-R, Ducket. I learned later that the correct pronunciation is Phuket. It was the first day of school, and I was just starting first grade. I was in a brand new school and I didn't know anybody, so I was really scared. About halfway through the day, I had to go to the bathroom. For some reason, even though my teacher was a really nice lady, I was afraid she was going to say I couldn't go to the bathroom. So I sat there and held my pee for as long as my little 6 year old bladder would allow me to, which was about 3 minutes probably. 
Eventually I could not hold it in anymore and I pissed my pants. It got on the floor and went under my desk. Somehow, no one noticed that there was dripping water coming from underneath my chair, so I sat there with my wet pants for a good 20 minutes. Eventually the girl behind me raises her hand and I hear her say, Mrs. Teacher I have water under my desk. At this point I think I'm screwed, and the teacher is going to call me out for pissing my pants, and everyone is going to know and I'm never going to have any friends. But luckily the teacher said she would take care of it later, and then after the school day was over, she called me up to her desk and says, NK Cetera, did you go to the bathroom in your pants? And at that point I just started crying, because I was so embarrassed. The teacher was really nice about it though, and she told me that it's okay, and that it happens to everyone sometimes. We made an agreement from that point on that every time I got up and went to the bathroom to do my business she would give me a skittle. So it all worked out in the end. TLDR, pissed my pants during school when I was 6, doesn't matter got skittles. Oh boy. Kindergarten probably the first week or so. I ask to use the bathroom, the girls room has someone in it, so my teacher says to use the boys room, it was single occupancy. So I walk in and I see this new contraption there. I think to myself, well that's a different kind of toilet, but it looks like fun. I drop my pants and hop up onto this bad boy and comments taking a dump. I forgot to lock the door, hey it was the boys room, I was too distracted by being allowed into the boys bathroom. And one of the other boys walks in and starts shouting to the class about how I pooped in the urinal. In 6th grade I went to the Bahamas with my parents for a winter vacation. On the beaches down there, women walk around and try to sell things, particularly hair braiding. I decided that getting my hair braided would be kind of cool, so I did. When we got back to the states, I decided to keep my braided hair, complete with green and white beads, for my first day back at school. I am a white male. It was one of the worst decisions of my adolescent life. It's tough to pick, but here's mine. In third grade I had a birthday. Now, I was a pretty excited dude. I loved attention, and birthdays were one of those days where I wanted everyone to be happy for me. I went to school acting enthusiastic as ever. Unfortunately, my teacher was feeling crappy. I'm not sure why, because she was normally energetic and happy too, but for the first couple hours she was moody and snapped at the students. This included me. I was constantly trying to answer every question while we were learning multiplication, and I was getting them wrong, and I imagine that she was on her last nerve. Well we went to quiet work, and I had not received any praise for my birthday yet. This bothered me, because every birthday student got a song and cheer at the beginning, and I didn't want to miss mine. I wanted this moment, so while we were working I walked up to the teacher. She looked even angrier than before, and without looking up at me, she grunted, what? Confused, but not deterred, I boldly stated, just so you know, it's my birthday. Now, what I expected from this was her cheerful doting and beginning of the birthday cheer, but that wasn't my fate that day. At that point, she looked at me with the angriest eyes I ever saw in her, and shouted, I don't care. Nobody cares that it's your birthday. This was still in silent time, so the entire class looked up in fright. I strangely didn't cry, I was normally a crybaby, but I did pout, and without a word I returned to my desk and didn't talk for the rest of the day. It is a pretty tame story, but it was the last time I tried to celebrate a birthday at school. Edit, thank you for the happy birthdays and well wishes. I should mention that, while I didn't brag at school about birthdays, I still celebrated them. Also, at the end, the teacher was as shocked and concerned as we were about her reaction, and she tried to give me a card and lollipop later, but at that point the damage was done.